Peace and blessings, people. Peace and blessings. Assalamu alaikum. This is your boy, Azakar, bringing you flame. You already know. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. You be left in that loop, man. You know what the business is. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to the black YouTube out there. Ticket TV, Carcino, Kwame Brown, the league attorney. Uh, J.R. Wisdom, Mr. Palm, Too Raw for Sports, Too Raw for TV. So many YouTubers out there bringing that heat, bringing that flame. That's all we do and bring that truth. And, yeah, hey, truth just knock the mess out of falsehood. You know that? It is what it is on that, and some people just don't like it. It is what it is. But the content I've been on recently, man, it's been on this crime tip, man. I don't know what it is about these notorious crimes, especially in the state that I reside in, man. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. We're about to cook. We're about to have us a nice little meal. So sit back. Get your popcorn. It's going to have a nice little ride. Peep gang. So like I said, man, we're about to cook. On this, on this, it can't be no Tennessee pride thing, I tell you that, but we got some killers in Tennessee, and we had some killers, and we finna cook right about now. Even the worst murders to even take place in Tennessee. We finna cook. We finna cook. You know, America has a dark and checkered past, especially from the Europeans. I mean, it is what it is. Um, did what they did. And it brought forth more violence with violence, it, with violence, with violence. And from mass shootings from serial killers, the country has some most prolific and brutal killers ever recorded. Mm, 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 mm. According to the FBI, a murderer has become a serial when they kill two or more people in separate events, while the majority of serial killers commit their crimes for the thrill and enjoyment. Others are done out of anger and a financial reward. Motherfuckers love their revenge. You know what I'm saying? They benefits. <laughs> Them insurance claim. Well, y'all already know. <laughs> y'all already know. Though it's easy to think there's nothing bad like that's ever happened in Tennessee. Not the volunteer state. Not the volunteer state. Yes. And we have seen plenty of hideous crimes through its history. So let's go ahead and cook. It produced Samuel Little. According to the FBI, Samuel Little confessed to committing 93 murders between 1970 and 2005. Good Lord, have mercy. Making him the most prolific serial killer in U.S. history. He was arrested in 2012 at a Kentucky homeless shelter, but he is believed to be responsible for three murders in Tennessee. And including to his crimes committed in other states, he was accused of strangling his victims who were typically marginalized and vulnerable to women. He died in December 2020 while serving life sentences in a California prison. <laughs> Killers in Tennessee, boy. Oh, this brother here, man. He looked like he was crazy. Samuel Little. This here, man. All right. Let's cook on this right here. Thomas D. Husky. A.K.A. the Zoo Man. Ooh. 
rarely known or heard as a serial killer. Thomas D. Husky, a.k.a. the Zoo Killer Man, the Zoo Man, was a rapist, serial killer, active in Tennessee. Uh, for several years in the early 1990s, due to mistrial, uh, the animal is still behind bars, but should be have already been executed. Sad but true. Ooh. Uh, Thomas D. Husky, also called the Zoo Man, is a convicted rapist and a supposed serial killer who is serving decades-long prison sentence. He was given the nickname by local sex workers, likely because of his a former job as an elephant trainer. <laughs> Husky is believed to have been strangled four sex workers uh, in Knoxville in the early 1990s. But a judge ruled that missed uh, steps in the case uh, in a concurred confession meant that he could be tried for murder. He was convicted of rape and sentenced for 64 years in prison. Wow. The vicious, the vicious harps. Earn a dubious di uh, distinction of being the United States' first documented serial killers, Makaja and Willie Harp were murderous outlaws who operated in Tennessee, Kentucky, Illinois, and Mississippi in the late 1700s. The vicious hearts. God, oh man, Tennessee been been doing what it was doing. Response for the oldest crimes committed on the list in the late 1700s. They were considered by many to be the most murderous. Highway highwaymen and the river pirates who operated across Tennessee, Kentucky, and Illinois, and Mississippi. Some history has called America's first true serial killers, as believed to kill dozens of men and women and children. Lakaija was killed in 1799, but Willie was sentenced to death and hanged in 1804. Look at Tennessee. Kenneth Gordon Taylor. Who originally from Ohio, Kenneth Gordon Taylor is accused of committing murders in several states between 1977 and 1978. He was arrested and pulled over in Nashville for a traffic violation, but he told the police officer that he had committed a murder, sending him to the body of David Willie. Uh, once he was in custody, he confessed to killing 16 other in Tennessee, Ohio, and Pennsylvania. He ended up reaching, uh, recanting his confessions, later claiming insanity, uh, but ultimately convicted of a second murder, degree, second degree murder in 1979. He was sentenced to 30 years in prison. <laughs> wow, the, the, the killers we had in Tennessee, boy. I'm telling you, man. Crime. Crime, man. One thing, especially up-to-date modern crime, if you got a heart and you got a conscience, man, that, that, is, that shit going to kill you. You're you going to either confess it or technology is going to bring them cops to you. And you don't want technology to bring them cops to you, man. It be that bullshit. It could be that real bullshit, but you be caught up in some bullshit. Yes, you would. And then, you know, I remember when I caught my charge. Boy, you talk about paranoid. I could just imagine how a man would feel if he killed somebody. Yeah, I was just selling a little bunny grass. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but man, these killers, man, we had in Tennessee, off the chain, man. Fast food killer. Y'all remember the fast food killer, don't you? Oh, man, we had a whole bunch of them. And there was an article I seen about a woman that was burnt off of Wissett, Wissett Avenue, and she was shot in the head, too. A woman from Africa. Oh, man. Shit, shit is crazy. Shit is crazy as hell, man. But do me a favor. Like, share, subscribe. Like, share, and subscribe, man. Uh, watch it, ID Network. I know I'm going to get my ID on in a minute. Probably get my body cam on in a minute. You feel me? But like, share, and subscribe. Like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Peace in the bottle of Hagrid's people. Do, 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 do.